Hey, what's up, guys? Illmatic here with a few Ultra Great Sword Showcase, Moveset, Breakdown, and Strategy. First things first, you can acquire this weapon by trading the Soul of the Fume Knight to Ornifix. This weapon is now my favorite Ultra Great Sword. At first, it was really hard to get used to, but once I got the strategy down and I started using some basic principles, it's actually really easy to use. If this is your first Ultra Great Sword or you're a beginner with Ultra Great Swords, I recommend using the Jester Robe. It's gonna make it just that easier for you because it nullifies the backstabs and is basically training wheels for slower weapons. The one handed standard attack does a smash down then a sideways slash. For this attack you always want to keep a good distance to prevent a backstab. The time you want to attack is when your opponent is at the length of the tip of your sword for your first attack. The first attack is used as bait most of the time, but if you happen to connect, throw that second attack. Once I re-establish my distance, I go for it again. This time, my opponent goes for the bait and rolls into me. That's when you want to throw the second attack. For this next one, he will try to go for a backstab, but since we kept a good distance in our first attack, he won't have the time before our second attack connects. If they roll left or right, it's a go for the second attack. But if they roll straight in front of you and they don't get hit, your opponent can follow it up with a roll attack, so either roll away or go for the parry. You can actually win a lot of fights just by using this one move and strategy. Just remember to keep your distance and only use the second attack if you connected the first attack or they roll into you left or right. People will actually get pissed and frustrated when you use this strategy. For the two-handed standard attack, it does a smash down, then your character jerks the sword up. For this attack, you want to keep and attack at the same distance as the one-handed standard attack. I like to use the first attack to bait the second attack. And you could also aim the second attack to an extent. The only times you want to use the second attack is if they're standing or rolling straight into you. And also if you connected the first attack. If anything else, roll away. This attack is also great to use on those opponents who won't let you have enough space for your attacks. Just unlock and as soon as they're in near attacking distance, lock back on and attack. The one-handed strong attack does a blocking attack, followed by a smashdown. For the two-handed parry, it is actually replaced with the same blocking attack, without the smashdown. I really found this attack useful, especially with the more aggressive opponents and with weapons that had a longer reach. And as you can tell by the clip, I am actually blocking the attacks and then attacking. With this block attack, you actually don't want to use the auto lock because it hinders you from targeting it 180 degrees. As you can tell by the clip, when on auto lock, I could only target it about 90 degrees, but without it, I could catch my opponents that roll behind me. When using this attack, you should always make sure you have the stamina to block the incoming attack because you can get guard breaked. There is also a small window just before your attack completes that you're vulnerable to an attack but most of the time your attack will go through even though. 
For the one-handed rolling attack, it does a wide swing that covers a large area. This attack is great to use against large groups and shield users. You will see in the clip that I will roll a little to his side, use the attack, and catch him. This strategy will only work if you roll to the left side. For the two-handed rolling attack, it impels your opponents. With this attack, you can target it 180 degrees. And you could also use the attack to catch people in the rolling animation. There's also a little glitch with the block with this weapon that would be perfect for this move but I haven't really figured out how the glitch really works yet. Basically I am blocking but when my opponent attacks I roll away although my opponent still staggers back as if I was still blocking. For the one-handed backstab running attack, it does an over-the-shoulder sweep. I didn't use this attack a lot, but for sure this attack can go through shield users if positioned to the right of your opponent correctly. For the two-handed backstab running attack, it launches your enemy into the air. This is gonna be your Hail Mary, Holy Glory, instant kill. You got an asshole who keeps drinking Estes Flask, a hacker, or if you just want to humiliate them, this is how you do it. This attack also works great just after the parry. For the two-handed strong attack, it does the Zweihander stab. This attack has a really nice reach and it's really great to use on rollers and this will also be our knockdown game. When using this attack, I like to really get up close to my opponent to get that extra reach. As soon as they get up from the knockdown, you want to use this attack just before they could roll away. For the jump attack, that's going to be our wombo combo, always nice to use after a two hit combo, hits like a truck, and usually your opponent will panic over the damage given from the two hit combo that they will time their roll wrong for the jump attack. This attack also has a nice reach and will close the gap between you and your opponents, allowing you to get devastating three hit combos. For this next segment, I'm going to go over some PvP. For the first opponent, we have a spell sword, and the way you want to deal with these guys is to keep close to them, but also keep a good distance. For homing soul mass, the easiest way to dodge these things is to roll left or right as you activate them. I start the fight by throwing some attacks to get him in the rhythm of rolling. Then I'll go for that two-handed strong attack and catch him in the end of the roll. I probably shouldn't have went for that jump attack, but instead use that two-handed strong attack. You'll see right here, I close the gap by using the jump attack, hindering him from getting room to cast a spell. And since I know he is now in the rhythm of rolling, I use the two-handed strong attack to catch him in the roll. Alright, for this next one, we're going against a knight, melee shield user, whatever you want to call it. You never want to roll into great swords if you see this attack because they have this second follow-up attack that will catch you if you don't know how to roll away from it. 
and you don't want to roll away from it because that's just a waste of stamina. I expected him to go for the roll right here but he went for the parry and still got clipped. And since he tried to go for the parry, I used the jump attack. A well placed jump attack is actually a really great way to bait a parry. And you can actually see me pull out my buckler at the last second so he probably never saw it coming. I go for the two handed strong attack but the targeting is off. And I guess the fight wasn't going his way so he switched to a katana. He gets more aggressive in his approach, so I fend him off with the block attack. At this moment, I'm just trying to establish some distance. And then I use the two-handed standard attack, which is unparryable. This one's a little short, but it shows off the distance factor in the two-handed standard attack. As you will see, if I connect, I will use my second attack. If I miss, I roll away or re-establish my distance. Went for the second attack but ended up using the guard break. And also go for the second attack if they fall for the bait. And if your opponent won't give you any space and your back is up against the wall, use the block attack. That's it for me guys, hope you guys like the showcase and expect more of these. Don't forget to watch the rest of the video, I put some useful combos in the rest of the vid, so enjoy the PvP clips. On some chill shit. We go zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. They be on that rap to pay the bill shit. And I don't feel that shit, not even a little bit. Fuck all that Drake, you gotta chill shit. I be on my little mouse drill shit. Fuck all that rap to pay your bill shit. Yeah, I'm on some rap, let's pay my bill shit. Zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. Real quick. Whole squad on that real shit. Zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. Real quick. Real fucking quick, nigga. Zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. I go zero to one and nigga real quick. I go zero to one and nigga real quick. Real quick, real fucking quick, nigga. Man, I had to grow up. That's why I never ask for help. I do it for you niggas and do it for myself. I go zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. Real quick. Whole squad on that real shit. Zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. Real quick. Real fucking quick, nigga. Zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. Zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. I go zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. Real fucking quick, nigga.
out on that real shit. Zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. Real fucking quick, nigga. Man, I had to grow up. That's why I never ask for help. I do it for you niggas and do it for myself. I go zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. Real quick. Go squad on that real shit. Zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. Real quick. Real fucking quick, nigga. Zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. Zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. I go zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. Real fucking quick, nigga. Quick, nigga. 